I know I'm dumb. They said I was dumb in grade school. They coded me. They said I had LD, ADD, ADHD, AA, AAA. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the AAA, that's the worst. You got to pay for that every year. <laughs> and I have dyslexia too. A little, not all the time. Don't worry about me. I don't have it all the time. Just when I read. <laughs> I swear to dog, I have it. <laughs> Some of you do too for not getting that joke. <laughs> like numbers screw me up, like when I'm nervous. Not all numbers, I like 11. That's my favorite number. I'll never forget my grandmother, she was choking in my kitchen. I kept on dialing 119. I'm gonna miss her. My mom has dyslexia. I think that's why I have it, but it doesn't really affect our relationship. I wanted to ask her to go out to lunch on 57th Street, but I really meant to say 75th Street, and she switched it in her mind, and we met there, and no one knew, so. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard. I was in the lowest reading group when I was little, and the teacher tried to be creative as naming the groups as animals so we wouldn't know, but I knew. I may be dumb, I'm not stupid. <laughs> So she's like, the giraffes go in that corner and read, and the elephants go in that corner and read, and the slugs. <laughs> yeah, that's you, Carrie, go back to first grade. <laughs> and then the teacher, every Friday, she would get all the reading groups together, and we all had to read a chapter book out loud. Very nerve wracking for me. We had to go in a row and read a paragraph. So now I'm nervous, so I count down the people, and then I count down my paragraph and I practice so I can do well. Well, Billy, the smartest kid in class, he was sitting in front of me and the teacher loved Billy. She's like, oh, Billy, you're doing so well. Just continue to the next paragraph. And I'm like, no, 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 that's my paragraph. No, 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 no. So I stand up, I start reading like louder than Billy. And I'm like, that is my paragraph. I'm reading, I'm reading. And now I'm on Ritalin. So. <laughs> And I know I'm dumb because they said it in my report card in the comments section. They didn't say, your kid's dumb. They can't say that. But I knew that that's what the teacher was trying to say in the comment. Like, I may not be able to read, but I can read between the lines. Because she writes, Carrie tries really hard. Carrie's creative. Carrie's a pleasure to have in class. That means Carrie tries really hard. She never gets the answer right. She creatively thinks of the answer that's so out of this world, makes me laugh and causes me pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about me though. I'm fine. I'm fine. Like I'm smart. Like I'm street smart. I'm not book smart. Like I'm gonna be on the street and I'm gonna be fine. Like no one's gonna come up and rob me or anything. But if I'm on the street and someone comes up to me and said, read this, be like I'm getting robbed. I'm not reading it, take everything. <laughs> Not right now. There's an adult test that you can take to give you, le there's some levels, there's levels of dyslexia. So I really wanted to know because they really didn't tell me exactly what I had back then. They really didn't like do anything with you. They just said, she's creative. She has that energy. <laughs> so I figured, you know, now that I'm an adult, I need to know. So there's an adult test that you can take online and it's expensive. And I'm thinking, do I really need the test? Or do I need a designer bag? <laughs> I figured, you know what, I need to take it. It's like $295. So I wrote him a check for $529. Turns out, I have it really bad. I don't even need to take the test. Which is great, because I don't like taking tests. I get nervous, and I do bad on them. You know what test I love? You know what test I do really well on? You know when you're on the computer and you have to prove to them you're not a robot? <laughs> love those tests. It's like, pick out all the street signs. Pick out the crosswalks. I get it right every time. I told you, I'm street smart. Thank you, yes. Yes, you can, yes. Yes, thank you for clapping at that. Thank you. Yeah, so not only was I dumb when I was little, I was also ugly. I know, oh, you guys take everything so literally. I love you, like, oh, really? Like, you want to bring me into your room and, like, give me therapy? I love it. This, the, don't worry, this is therapy. I, that's why I'm a comic, people. That is why I'm a comic. So, yes, I, I, I was ugly. I know I was ugly, and I'll tell you why. Calm down, don't worry. Because my mother was a hairdresser. 
And I was the guinea pig for all the latest hairstyles. Yes. Now back then, I'm going to date myself. Back then, the, the hairstyle was the Dorothy Hamill bowl cut. Yes, someone's my age. Yeah. The bowl cut. I didn't look like a cute little ice skater. I looked like a little boy. The little boy on Eight is Enough, Nicholas. Yes. Yeah, and when I was little, I loved that show, and I had, a, I had a crush on little Nicholas. I loved him so much. I had a crush on myself, people. I looked exactly like that little boy. Do you remember that saying? Do you know that saying? Don't run with scissors? Yeah, in my house, it was different. It's run, mom has scissors. Yeah, so I was dumb, ugly, and guess what? I had a lisp. Now you know why I'm a comic. I had a lisp when I was little. And uh, back then, we had, I had to go to speech therapy, and we really didn't have like a speech therapy room like they have nowadays. We had to use the library closet. It was very scary. Yeah, and I remember it was just me and this other little boy. And the teacher's like, come on, boys. We're gonna play a game. You gotta, you gotta get these jokes on time, people. You're messing my timing. <laughs> Come on, boys, we're gonna play a game. Look at my lips, repeat after me. Buh, buh, mm, mm. Ooh, ooh, I had nightmares for years. <laughs> I'm all right now, don't worry, I'm all right. So yeah, so that was me growing up. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. And oh, and my mother, she, punishes me when she read my diary. She broke into my diary, by the way. I'm like, how did you do that? Remember the paper lock? I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> the paper lock. She broke into my diary and then she punishes me and she says, these are the things you're writing in your diary? I have sex daily? I'm like, mom, I'm trying to write, I have dyslexia. <laughs> Some guy's actually writing it out backstage. He's like, hmm, yeah, that works. <laughs>